this is Victor with a new studio update and also a channel update. So yeah, this is I'm going to show you what is going to be next in my workbench and what are the next videos that we are going to have in this channel for this December um, and also Christmas periods and maybe a little bit beginning of Jan. So I will keep working uh, on my Stormcast Eternals, finishing the two last liberators to complete the starter kit. So these two liberators are the two miniatures that I, I need to finish to complete the starter kit. And once this is complete, uh, um, as part of Budget of Sigma, here we have, I will go for the um, the guy with the R, I don't remember, no, I think it's the Knight. Um, we have the two knights, I have the two knights, the one with the with the bow and then I did a conversion to have the one with the lamp here okay I will paint six, uh, three more uh, you have it there, three more retributors to make a unit of six, at the end I decided you have a unit of six with two um, star maces, here I have the other one with the star mace so I will have two star maces and a unit of six and once it is finished I expect between um, doing all these holiday periods to paint um, these five um, prosecutors and, yeah, and then after that uh, let's see oh, and if I still have time after that I will paint a uh, a unit of judicators uh, together with uh, a Lord Castellan that I have on the blister, so I have to assemble yet. Judicators, I didn't pay for the full box, I just bought bits to be able to do judicators with bows. So, five judicators and the Castellan. Let's see how much of that I can paint during the, uh, during the month of um, December and beginning of Jan. Uh, what else uh, you can expect? So as I will be painting that uh, next week you can expect a video how I do the rivets on the armor to explain how to maximize and how to make them to pop up on your armor. This is the tail that you hit here. I will do um, I will do a glowing effect on the bow so and I will explain how to do the, the glowing effect and how I do it in case you are interested how to do glowing effects on the weapons and I will do another one explaining how to do the glowing effect on the lightning engraved on the sod here. So I will do this sod like glowing, like if it's uh, magic and empowered by, by the energy of the of Azir. So I will put the glowing effect here. And I will do also the same, I will explain how to do the lantern. So I think these are two interesting things that I will try to work during the month of December. Uh, if I have time, I can promise that, but I have in mind to do some, uh, and it's not going to be in the miniatures, because these miniatures I wanted to keep clean, but uh, maybe I will do some tutorial how to do dirty clothes, how to um, do the powders to make the dirtiness, and I can use, for example, this miniature to explain how to do uh, the dirty clothes at the bottom of the clothes. So I may use this miniature that is one of the uh, cultists to do this uh, tutorial. And on other topics, I will I bought or well, I ordered the ever chosen book, so you can expect a review from that uh, soon uh, on the uh, ever chosen chaos uh, and yeah book. I will do a review. And also for on this channel you will expect some more 8th edition battle reports and 40k. I'm going to a tournament this weekend, um, so with my Bretonian again, and I will do the battle reports. Not very popular, no, the 8th edition, but I, I think it's, it's uh, interesting always to do the battle report. And what you learn on 8th edition can be reapplied on the 9th. Uh, yeah, as a news here, I also want to say that in future I will I will play keep playing on Age of Sigmar. Uh, I'm on a tournament, on mini tournament, on uh, uh, inscribed for January. So this will come in future. Uh, I don't know how much I can play during these holidays. I will take some Christmas holidays, so I will see if I can do some pickup games uh, for sure or almost sure. I will play uh, 40k with my 
Corn uh, Demon King, so I will try also to do a battle report Demon King against Slanish. So Corn against Slanish is going to be interesting. So this is some of the news, some of what it will come in this channel. And as always, I like to leave room for suggestions. If you have any suggestion, anything that you think can be interesting to do in this channel, please let me know. I'm also op I'm always open to any suggestion, any idea and I will try to make it work. Um, I'm thinking if it makes sense or not to do a questions and answers. Not sure yet. Uh, if you think that this can be interesting, drop in the message below. And yeah, and we can start with some questions from you. Uh, if you think that it's not interesting, then no worry. But I, I like also to explore. Uh, I will keep doing units in depth for 40k. I've been asked if I can do the same for Sigmar. Maybe I start to do unit in depth on Sigmar. But to be fair, I don't. I think I didn't play enough to do this unit in depth and to explain. Maybe uh, in January I will have after doing some more games. I will be able to do it uh, better. And. Yeah, and I will keep doing some of the series and doing a note like the Wargaming concepts. So I hope to keep you seeing in this channel. Please like if you like it, subscribe if you're not subscribed. It. Let me know what do you think and if you have any suggestion, don't hesitate. Leave the suggestion in the comments below. I read all the comments, I try to be in touch with all of you. And if you have any suggestion, I will take this into account. And if I think that it's not feasible, I will respond to you and I will tell you why. But normally, uh, if it's something that I, related to the hobby or to the game, should be feasible. Uh, also wondering if I will do Blob Bull. There is a leak uh, here in Brussels. But maybe I will do some pickup games on Blob Bull and I will do some battle reports. If you're interested in that, just let me know. And for now, that's all. So, as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.